ladies and gentlemen, get ready for combos. Well, let's see how long the opponent lets us do cool things. Triggers. What is happening? Commanders. <laughs> In my opinion, the most broken deck you're going to see. Monkey. This is Historic Brawl. Will CGB ever do Historic Brawl again? No questions! Hello and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB. We brawl. We brawl. Sometimes we brawl. Hi, it's Kellen, Inquisitive Prodigy in Brawl. I know, before you click off this video in disgust at how obnoxious Kellen is and how he's hijacked the lore for the last like four sets or whatever, I just want you to take a moment to appreciate this deck might be good. It's built weird. Look at the curve. Look at the curve. This curve is stupid. It's backwards. It's not a CGB curve. It's not a competitive curve. How could this be? Because Kellen, what Kellen does have going for him in this specific iteration is that on turn two, you have a growth spiral in the command zone. So every turn two, as long as you have enough lands in your deck, you're going to ramp up to three. And ramp is one of the most important things, especially in a green brawl deck. And then on turn three, when you ramp on turn two, up to four mana on turn three, you can play your commander. It like curves into himself. God, that sounds weird and different. Uh, but yeah, you can have turn two, grow spiral, turn three, Kellen, a three, four flying body that can blow up artifacts on the opponent's side of the board, which is kind of a big deal. There's a lot of artifacts to nuke, but if you're not blowing up their artifacts, you can blow up your artifacts to draw cards. Why would you want to do such a thing? I don't know. Maybe to take an extra turn. Ugin's Nexus says if it would be put into the graveyard from the battlefield, instead exile it and take an extra turn. That is a card we don't get to use in very many decks. So Ugin's Nexus is amazing with Kellen and made me want to build out the rest of the deck. Some other fun things you can do. Target an indestructible artifact that you control. That if you target a one ring indestructible with Kellen's ability, you draw a card, but you don't destroy it. So we have you can do this without casting the one ring. There are a bunch of cards down here, uh, the lands that are indestructible. So we have indestructible lands in the deck to make that happen, like Dark Steel Citadel. And we also uh, that's an artifact land that's why it's targetable but there's the other one where's the other there it is tangle pool bridge artifact land indestructible you target these with kellen and you're drawing cards and blowing up nothing i have a few other things that are fun to target if you blow up re retrib retributive wand then you get to deal five damage to any target and draw a card if you blow up your mithril coat nothing happens and you draw a card so there's a lot of fun things and because our curve always has ramp we don't have to run other ramp really and because our curve always has a four drop we don't need a lot of four drops so we can just start the deck on turn five six seven and play huge awesome green blue monsters that completely overpower the opponent it's kind of uh it's like kiora but with a little different approach that just you just always have it it's in the command zone so yeah we're gonna run kellen inquisitive prodigy it's gonna be sweet you guys are gonna love it La thank you to the sponsors of the video coolstuffinc.com use the promo code cgb5 thank you to ultimate guard for protecting my products my magic cards i've got so many they need such protection let's dive in let kellen's inquisitive nonsense begin on the play against quint quintorius quintor we got the lands so we'll definitely ramp up to Kellen. If we draw even one more land, we go Nyssa into Vorinclex, which could be insane. Let's keep. Vorinclex great against Planeswalkers. So this hand is cooking. Just give me something to unsummon. I don't even know what Boros would do on turn one that needs to be unsummoned. As for Sentinel, draw a card, bounce it. Be a bit embarrassing. We keep on top. Oh! The indestructible. Oh, it's not an artifact. I can't target this. Why is this in my deck? Play around Armageddon. Don't worry about it. Decline on that adventure. Oh my gosh, that could cost me. If I don't hit another forest, that could actually cost me. I just saw Indestructible on the land. I forgot it's not an artifact. Okay, that card's really good. My commander is down. 
3-4 Flying Vigilance when it attacks. Destroy an artifact. Draw a card. They abrade my clue. You're gonna... I'm gonna make you regret that. <laughs> they didn't like that one bit, did they? Oh my goodness. They hated that. <laughs> Soft. On the play. Wash away Radagast, do nothing else. We need green. Three mulligans are here for a reason. Okay. If we draw two lands, we are cooking. If we don't draw two lands, we are sad pandas. Actually, if we draw just one land, maybe we start hitting the relic with Kellen and we're okay. Radagast the Brown is a heck of a value engine. How will we get ahead of it? Well, we know what we're doing on turn two. Cyclonic Rift is really good. Cyclonic Rift is a really good card if we can get our lands. We only run 47. Darn it. Okay, well, it'll have to do. Hard mode engaged. But as long as we can get to the Rift, I think we'll be all right. We can't even cast the Cavalier. They played a Guardian project. That's just greedy. Let's be real. So this right now draws two. It's each other. It draws one. I'll play Dragon. Maybe next turn, if we still don't have the land, Karuga can draw two and get there. Say hello to my little Ward 4. <laughs> All right, buckle up. Here come the creatures. If you are easily, if you experience feelings of jealousy, whenever your opponent is drawing way more cards than you, warning, this may suck. There's the land. There isn't an artifact yet. But it still might make sense to get Kellen down. Let's see what we draw. There is an untapped land. So next turn we can Cyclonic Rift. Is it Kellen? Or is it Karuga? We could also play the tower and play this, but then we might, if we whiff on the land. <laughs> Trust me, I do it. If we whiff on the land, we don't rift next turn. Let's play Kellen. We can actually get a lot of value out of Kellen if we decide to play Cyclone Summoner and bounce the Kellen. Please don't turn him into an elk. That would be too thematically perfect. By the way, can we unban Oko in Historic Brawl? Uh. Yep. My doom! Hey, it's an artifact to kill. They did play right into that, didn't they? Ooh, witness protection, you say. I don't want them bouncing this meteor golem. I want it dead. They have an acidic slime. Ugh. What's the play? They're going to blow up what? A land. So we want more land? Yeah, let's get our ETB value. We're not in a hurry here. We can do this. This. And then we can either crack the clue or we can witness protect the Radagast. And if we play summoner, we get our witness protection back. I mean, that's just stopping them from drawing cards. Let them draw cards. We can't stop them from drawing cards. They're going to draw cards anyway. Linwald Captive is a mana creature that you don't see every day. Cemetery Prowler. Get out my graveyard. Yeah, we're definitely getting into Cyclone Summoner time. Digging, digging. 
We could have used the witness last turn to bait out their acidic slime, but the fact that we plan to bounce the board, we don't want to bait out their acidic slime. That just gives them more value. I don't know how we're going to beat the acidic slime. We'll have to figure that out later. We've got a few other problems. Oh, crater hoof. Woo. Okay. Any giants? Aging giants. Creature type giant? No. I draw. Aw, oh, look, so happy. Any reach? Balta's arms are too small for reach. No reach. I target my indestructible to draw a card. I'm so talented. I'm good at magic. Got a careful tap with treasure vault. Also got to make sure we get mana out of our relic. Summoner! Hand. Woo! Okay. Uh, wait. Oh, yeah. I checked for giants. I forgot to check for wizards. That's okay. I have a plan. I knew that. I was very aware of that situation. This is what I'm doing. And now they'll acidic slime it, but that's five mana. So their reload is going to be awkward. They prowl. Yeah, they don't need to be in a hurry to replay things like Guardian Project or to free their commander. They've got a lot of cards to cast. They don't need to draw more. What they probably want to do is get Galta back down to put me under pressure. Mm, doesn't look like they will, though. They're just going to play out the dorks. The return of the mana dorks. So they can have another monster turn. Yeah, uh, I'll make you cast that again. I'm down. I don't think they expected that. I don't have any expectations of keeping their commander frozen. Better to make them recast it. Any death touch? Paging death touch? No. Hi. If they go to seven, they could just be dead next turn to a Cyclonic Rift. And it looks like that's our situation. We have to hold it up, and the reason for that is Greater Woof. Here's a Halfling. Pass the turn. You know the plan. They're gonna try to Crater Hoof me, and I'm not gonna care. All this open mana, they can't expect it to work though. Okay, so they go to the slime. Yeah, what's your target? We left up eight mana. Specifically because this could happen. Uh-huh. Defiler of Vigor. Just... Don't worry. Don't worry. We'll break their hearts soon. Any wizards? <laughs> Any wizard giants? Oh wait, Cyclonic Rift doesn't care. Just trolling myself and you. Remember to like the video if you think I play like crap. Remember to like the video if you think I play good. What a sport. Not bad for getting your big green board bounced twice. Nahiri, forged in fury. We're on the play. An unsummon is good against equipment decks. We'll keep. Good versions of this have a ton of like living weapons. Pour Mirrodin and things like that.
And we are on the move. Dear Wizards, please delete Sandboard. Okay, thanks. With love, CGB. Crowbar. Room. I mean, on rate, like when you go first and you jump up to four lands and a 3-4 Vigilance, feels like you're so far ahead. The opponent kind of has to kill it. Too strong. Whoa, crazy. I think they have a lightning bolt. I'll take it. The reed is lightning bolt. The whip. Okay. This is where the deck gets mean and oppressive. Destroy. I'm probably going to do that a lot. <laughs> Here's my halfling. Let's hold the relic so we can kick it in the future. We have Tails End and Sack a Clue open. They got to get rid of Kellen. Yeah, there's the lightning bolt. Forge anew. Okay. That's pretty good for them. You get a little value there. And now they equip for zero. Ooh. She were legendary. I'd counter you. Let's draw a card. Do what we see. And let's bounce you. Vivian. Boom. The wild wasn't Boom. <laughs> Sometimes restoration. <laughs> That's gotta go. <laughs> Free equips. I don't like it. We'll see if the opponent can get Nahiri down here. The Bearer of Blades. This card's good. I would have tails ended that. Look at your top seven. Reveal an equipment. Put it in your hand. Put the rest on the bottom. And equip is one. And they found an Ember Cleave. They didn't kill. They did not kill Vivian. I thought they'd attack the Vivian. The wilds are my shield. Uh, hi. What are you doing? Let's go. I can't hold up the tail's end then. A bit of a problem. All right. In that case. Keep killing the equipment. Make Vivian expensive. Maybe they do Ember Cleave here. But we can blow it up with Kellen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are we blocking? Are we blocking? Helen would trade here. Also, are we countering Embercleave? I guess so. Pew! Bow! Countering Embercleave still feels good after all these years. I've seen worse. Jorgadin. Haha, <laughs> you has no equipment. Okay, shock that in. Let's get the Nezahal. And finally, get to draw a card. And now we have the largest creature on the battlefield again. <laughs> you are a destructive little fairy, aren't you? Just absolutely wrecking this equipment deck. Not gonna lie, feels gross. Feel like you're not supposed to be this good. Trigger. 
Witness protection. And you are, uh... Look at the top six reveal the warrior equipment. All right, do your thing. Here's the thing. Artifacts are really popular in Brawl. Almost every deck runs set a couple of them. So Kellen is a scary card. What do we got here? We got a Phoenix that does something with equipment and we've got a Bruner battle hammer. All righty. Land. I mean, yoink, or something else. Let's go to combat. I think Nezahal can stay home. Let's just keep controlling this board. Man, that's good. That is so good. My quest rages on. Yeah, maybe next turn we'll use the ability. We drew all our special lands already. I'm not even afraid of Nahiri. I'm just going to take out Aster so the equipment is expensive. The equip cost, that is. I have Bruner. Maybe I'll just grab Bruner. Come to me, Bruner Batablamer. Get in my clutches. <laughs> Equip creature to get plus two plus zero oh, attach equipments. Whoa, swift foot booties. All right. <laughs> and then in sadness, knowing that the boots are going to meet a destructive end by the hand of a really inquisitive and obnoxious fairy, our opponent, in my opinion, rightfully concedes. On the draw, we've got Avison, Angel of Hope. This is sometimes an all board wipes deck, which could be a pretty funny matchup. So let's see what happens. Turn one Esper Sentinel must be nice. Wind Obedience. Well, um, this is going well. I don't think we want to unsummon that Sentinel. Too much value for them. I will still ramp. They can have their card. It's white. They don't get many cards, okay? But if we miss this land drop, oh no. Okay, here comes the rampy artifacts. The unsummon on the Avacyn <laughs> seems so mean, but I'll probably do it. Wow. Uh, I guess I'll run this out. We'll have to draw land sometime, and if they don't kill this, the value could be useful. But right now, it's borderline useless. It's a Kotli Honor Guard. I think that's not that bad for me. We have to be careful not to run into it. Creatures entering the battlefield don't cause abilities to trigger. It's not that bad, though. Hold back. Opponent is here to be an absolute salt lord. Aged Sun, good card. They can double up on white card uh, planes mana. They choose a color. Their creatures get plus one, plus one. When the land's ability adds mana, it adds additional mana. Treasure Vault. Artifacts enter tapped. Good! That's that's great. <laughs> Punished. More land, please. I run <laughs> I run 47. So please, deck. Help me out. Help me help you. Let's get a Kellen down. Nuking some of these artifacts would be very good for me. I'll go for the Avacyn. I was looking for that. I was hoping for that. We can bounce the Avacyn with the Unsummon. And then we can blow up the Cage Sun. Whoa! 
Uh, yeah, indestructible. I remember now. I remember now. Okay, this is entering tapped. Because magic's not fair. Unsummon, we could pay the four. I'm not doing that. They do... Should I move to combat and activate this trigger and hold priority? I should. They might have... Swords. So we want to get this trigger on the stack. And then we'll do it. Because we know they're not going to counter it. But if we do this before combat, and then they swords this without the trigger going off, we don't get to destroy the Caged Sun. And we want that Caged Sun gone. You gotta work for your mana. Draw now, draw later. Draw later. We can threaten to power up this Hydra. What is it, a 2-2? Two -two? Doesn't matter much, but it's something. Oh, just do it again. Love that for you. Would you like to extort me? I'm down to 12. They do not attack this time because of the open mana. So that's a good reason to hold mana up. Let's get some cards in here. Tireless Tracker actually doing work. Darksteel Citadel. Artifacts and creatures. <clears throat> All right. Think, think, think. We want to bounce the board, right? Is this a Cyclone Summoner? I think I just... I just want the Avacyn. But she indestructible. So Vivian doesn't do it. Nissa doesn't do it. Mass Bounce has to do it. So it's a rebuke. So it's treason then. Nice. All right. Uh, let's make clues. Go get the breeding pool. Play the halfling. Down to nine. But we're going to turn this corner. I can feel it. River's Rebuke does that. By the way, shout out to the Puppy Plains. You're a good boy. Uh-oh. The Glyph Bridge. That works. Crafts into a 5-3 that messes with spells. Oh, boy. They're at 12... We've got to keep the pressure on. Fading hope. Let's double land. Boom. 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 Keep blowing up those artifacts. They hate it. And we'll crack a clue. Fade hope? Nope. Norn! You. Okay. I guess that's getting bounced? Alright, how big do we make this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that layer hits for eight. We're, we're one short. Untapped land could do it. But we still have the Esper Sentinel to navigate. Let's just crack. Think, think, think. Take out the Sentinel. 
Yeah, if we had had an untapped land, Kellen killing the Sentinel would have gotten it through. Hmm. In the meantime, though, this card. First that Sentinel. Bounce that Norn. Hit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's go, jellyfish. Roar. I think at this point we discard the summoner. Ah, discard the scout. No tropical island this game. That's it. Dead in the air after the Elish Norn comes down. Just a little bit too much tempo and River's Rebuke is messed up. Our opponent has Luris and Amalia in the command zone. We are ramping up to Goose Mama. <laughs> uh, man, Pact is so bad in this matchup, right? The opponent's commanders are super low to the ground and they're going to get cooking way before us because we're going second. Is the Mender good? Not really. Ugh, going second is hard. But I think I want to try this. I want to try out Goose Mom. Honk honk. How is this happening? That's four out of five games. Turn one Esper Sentinel. <laughs> Matchmaker, what are you? You're a lie. You're a cold blooded lie. No black mana, though. Hmm. When you attack, you may sack a food if you do draw a card. We could just play this as a 2-2 two -two and start beating them down because they're mana screwed. But, I mean, that doesn't matter much against a fountain. I think I let him draw here. I think we have to follow the game plan. Decline and play the Field of Ruin. Did they find Swamp? They found Ass Pirate. <laughs> okay. Let's kill him with the commander. If Kellen gets to blow up this Esper Sentinel, that'll be so good for us. Come on. Get that Esper Sentinel. Rude. Very, very rude. We go to 21. They still don't have a black source. So at least we have that going for us. Who's Ma? Who's Mama? <laughs> I love that it's still like an eagle screech, not a honk. What the heck? I know it's creature type bird. Can we not give some special treatment to the goose? They found a black source. We're in trouble now. Yep. We let that go. We take our beatings here. We need Kellen to kill this Sentinel. They're just going to keep piling on to it. So we have to protect the Kellen. They are bottlenecked on black mana, so they probably don't have two removal spells for next turn. Mana Tithe would have broken my heart. <laughs> they do have something for one white. They do have something. And they found another black source. Oh, no. Okay, Amalia's here. That's fine. For now. 
Pride mate, great. Love that. Hard work it is. But we're gonna get rid of that Sentinel. Its oppression will not be tolerated any longer. Die. Curse you. <laughs> ah, there is a life gain trigger on upkeep from fountain. We could blow it up. I don't think that's worth it. I'm sure they'll find other ways to gain life. We could try to set up the Nissa ultimate. I have a feeling they'll have something to stop me. Together we will prevail. Harness the elements. All right, go up to 14. Play defense. They hit a hive. Lotho, sure. We do have the pack to try to protect the Nyssa. Well, there you go. I wonder what they'll take. Although, the Hydroid Crisis has to be tempting here. That is a heck of a reload. They take it. They left me with the pact. They're gonna have to swing really hard if they want to get to Nyssa here. And if they don't, I'm gonna draw so many cards. And if they do a full send, Nissa's still alive and we take out their Amalia and their Aspirant. Uh, flying? Untap it? Sure. I'll block with Kellen, it's fine. Maybe I won't, we'll see. Okay, I definitely will. I'll take that value. Whenever a land enters the battlefield, what happens? Draw a card. Silverback Elder, huh? Good when I have other creature spells. I don't right now. Could play the Kellen. Elder, this is going to be a six. This has seven toughness. Elder. Also, we leave up food. Might be very relevant. Speaker of the heavens, they're at 23 life. For how mana screwed they were at the start of the game, they have certainly worked their way back into it. They know about the pact. Lingering souls. Lingering souls. No reach, but we're about to play Kellen again. This is fine. Played around my Jwari. Although I guess they have treasures as well. Counter goes on the 2-2 two, two, Lingering Soul. But it has summoning sickness. The scavenger grounds might be huge. They have a Lurus. They have bought Lurus into their hand. Okay. Uh, crack clue, crack food. Let's crack clue. Vivian. And Wellspring. Okay. Board is getting spooky. Eight mana to play the Kellen. We still have packed protection. Let's go for Juari. Draw the card. See what it is. Man Tower. Could destroy the fountain. Right now it's the only life gain trigger. The thing is, I would love. Okay then. <laughs> I would love to keep up the scavenger grounds for the Loris, but sure, opponent, if you don't want to play, we don't play. 
on the play against Itali, Primal Conqueror. So a big baddie here to possibly end the show. Let's keep this hand. Turn one. We get to go get a breeding pool. I don't know if we'll get to play Kellen on turn two, though. Because we get to play the Halfling. And Halfling's a great card, but it doesn't cast Tail the Suspect. It's not a legendary spell somehow, weirdly. That does it. We could also witness protect this elf. I don't think that's worth it. Klein and let's play you and we can sack this clue. Utopia Sprawl. Yeah, Itali's on the move. What a monster of a deck. Make her Wellspring. So this will enter tapped unless I play the Kellen, then it enters untapped, but that doesn't really matter. Well, it's still Kellen this turn. We have the Citadel, so we can start drawing off Kellen with every attack. We also have the Wellspring, which can draw us even more cards if we're willing to put the mana into it. But man, Itali is a monster. I don't know how we're going to beat that one. It would be nice if we had ways to return cards that get stolen from us to our own hand. And this is an enchantment, not an artifact. And they're casting the Surge. Yeah, they're going to have no problems. Drop in Itali next turn. Gotta find a solution. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. Ooh, ooh, ah! That delays the suffering. That's another land. Is a seventh land useful? It's getting there. Gotta have land. Give me another card. Make it a good, another banger. Another extra turn, a goose. Not bad, not bad. I have a, I have an idea of what I can do here. Maybe I actually can take them off Itali. Honk, honk. They're gonna need an untapped land. Cause now they have a legitimate business elf. <sighs> okay. Okay. They get a 2 2 goosey and a ruby. That's not not amazing. And we get to untap with an, a silverback elder. That can be pretty good. Maybe the Pearl Link Ancient. What? They didn't play my goose mother. I could have bounced my goose mother. Okay. I mean, do I bounce a tally so I can attack them? I think I do. I think that's the play. I don't know, man. That's close. Those. I like drawing extra turn spells in, out of my deck. That was cool. More of that, please. Look at it go. Oh my gosh, we are we are doing it. Scoop them up. They know they're getting attacked again next turn. They don't want to make those decisions. Wow, extra turn still busted. Today's random Cool Kids Club member shout out goes to Steve Lawford. Thank you for joining the Cool Kids Club and for all your months of support. I hope you're enjoying early access to my videos and my members only live streams. Hit join 
and you can join the cool kids and get all the extra Covert Go Blue content and see everything a day early. This deck is fun. This deck is a different approach. You have to be cool with the first two turns always being the same the first three turns always being the same some people really don't like that i love skipping the early game and going straight to the boom booms and that's what this deck does best so if you're looking for something in historic brawl that approaches the format a little differently and something that always clowns on paradox engine because my god does this little rascal blow up artifacts then this might be the deck for you if you have an ugin's nexus sitting around that you always wondered how to put that in deck this is the one. Thank you for watching this video. As always, I'll see you in the next video. You're cool.